How to use Screaming Frog SEO Spider. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to briefly introduce you to this tool and show you how to use it to, for analyzing your competitor's website. Okay. Now, the freely available version has limitations for us to go into the advanced um, settings and so on. But I want you to fully be assured in knowing that you don't need to play around with all these settings to quickly analyze your competitor's website. Okay. Let's say we've taken this sample URL as a competitor. Okay. If that's the case, all we do is we type that URL in that box and we press start. And when we do, this particular tool is going to go and fetch certain information for us. Now, once you use this tool once, twice, and once you complete this training course and then use this tool, you should not spend more than five or ten minutes looking at your competitor's details. Okay? Because I've shown you how to do competitor analysis. The important parts for us to outrank our competitors in, in Google search, right? So, when you do the search, this is what it's going to bring. And if you look at all this information, don't get overwhelmed. Okay? The reason I say that, what you're seeing right now is details for that URL. But the important parts for us are these tabs here. So all the information that you're seeing here is broken down into these tabs for us to quickly take a look at our competitors to see if their strengths and also weaknesses meaning you could do this manually but why do it manually when you can you know look at this through this tool quickly and easily okay that's why you use this tool so therefore let's go back to this um, the, the, the details here we can press on this address feature and as we can see the, the, it's sorted differently for us to quickly have a look at what we're seeing okay now the URLs is URLs, landing pages. We can press on content, and as we can see, it changes. So from here to here, these are typical landing pages. And when we're looking at this information, whether it's through this tab, or whether it's through this tab, okay? When we're looking in at that information, we see. We see that are the keywords in the URL, because we know the keywords in the URL sends a strong signal as I've shown you in that uh, previous video session of the importance of certain web page elements, right? So by looking at this information, we can see there are some keywords being used in the URL. So we, got, we get that idea right now, right? Also, the external tab here, as we can see, our competitor is linking out to an external site. As we can see, they're linking out to Facebook or something else, right? So that is in front of us quickly and easily by using this tool. Response codes, you don't have to really worry about it because these are server response codes. Meaning, if you can visit your competitor's website and if it's visible to you, that means it's giving 200 you know, server code, status code 200, which is everything is okay. But by looking at this, we can see if there's any redirection happening and where it's happening, okay? So as we've seen the URI, which is Uniform Resource Identifier, what you need to understand is every single landing page or every single resource on internet has a unique identifier, which we call the URL or URI. The correct term is URI, okay? Which is use it everyone else uses it, uses it as url uniform resource locator identifier same thing but for computers you know, on internet they need to be able to say okay what is the difference between this page and this page what is the difference between this page and this page and they do that through the uri knowing that because it's unique okay Page titles are important factors for us, we know that. So therefore, looking at this, we can quickly take a look and see, although they have you know, 
uh, it seems by looking at this they have included a lot of keywords in the title okay so we can perhaps say this is like SEO optimized titles our competitor has right but in fact this is not the correct way of constructing our titles but knowing this information we can see the strength of our competitors also their weaknesses as well don't worry we will create these titles or description or landing pages and URL names properly in this training course anyway so meta descriptions they are important okay and if these people have utilized Google Webmaster tools then they would have seen HTML improvements um, as far as duplicate uh, description okay and as we can see here this is actually a weakness because if you're describing this page and if you're then describing this page well then logically this is about promotions this is about corporate something right and thus that landing page cannot be described in the same manner as this one and so on okay one of the reasons that I have chosen to include this video session is not just because you know you, you learn how to quickly look at your competitors website but also I want to synthesize you on the important factors as you're learning in this training course okay important SEO factors and this tool doesn't overwhelm you with all the nonsense like some other tools okay it gives you the core knowledge to see okay which is your titles um, you know links and so on okay so meta keywords some people will tell you not to utilize them because because Google doesn't include meta keywords in its ranking calculations although that's the case we will still have to use it because we understand how to do search engine optimization properly okay so looking at this for our competitors we can see yes they are utilizing it but not properly okay so heading we can see that our competitor then has headings and they have understood the importance of headings but as we look here we can see that heading one actually has been used twice which we should know not to do that because we can only have one heading per landing page of course no one's gonna stop me or you to have 10 different heading ones on a particular landing page right but logically semantically that doesn't make sense you should only have one heading one and if your content permits that means you have a lot of textual or visual content that you want to break down on your landing pages then utilize heading 2 heading 3 till heading 6 and so on right so looking at this we can see that our competitor doesn't have heading 2 but if we then you know right click on a particular URL and then we can open it up in a browser to quickly double check as to what's going on on that page and as we can see it is perfectly logical for this website to not have heading 2 because the content is not long enough to support a heading 2 okay so that option is always there for you as well okay so you also have options here telling you to check backlinks okay all these people if I were to give you my professional advice forget about all this information for backlinks because I believe these are not good enough and the fact is you don't need them and most of these money hungry platforms they just want to get your money by selling you some information you absolutely do not need when you are optimizing your website okay so this tool then tells us okay how about images are there any images and as we can see if we move this up we can see that they have images here right as we can see they have images but what if we go to image info here see we have this feature here that quickly tells us you know instead of you know sifting through this on the web page itself we can use this tool to see do they have images if they do had they you know optimize their images 
can we see if there's any weaknesses or as we can see there's something here that doesn't actually make sense there's an image here and there's also an image here okay with all these you know random numbers and so on okay as far as image optimization is concerned this is not smart so therefore we've seen straight away that our competitors are not fully utilizing images for SEO purposes and we also then you know by looking at the the image info we can see more information regarding the image itself right we've got the image name and also alt text here as well as we can see and we can kind of get an idea as to okay you know what it seems that they've optimized their um, images and they've also included the alt text right so they are doing something right in that sense right so we can look at the di directives and so on we don't really have to focus too much about that okay because we don't need to and also we have the custom tab here okay we can you know utilize the custom options and so on but we don't need to okay so looking at this let's take a look let's you know the latest SEO frog spider has included this as well so it's basically saying okay you know what this page will look like this in Google's um, results page right so it's gonna give you that idea as well you don't have to worry too much about all this pixel um, stuff because you don't need to so this is how you utilize screaming frog SEO spider SEO tool okay and remember you do so for your competitors website okay i really want to thank you very much and let's continue learning how to optimize our website thank you bye bye